Natalie Forrest with you. Tragedy on our roads today with a 45-year-old man killed in a horror crash at Appen. Police say his car collided with a coal truck on a bend of Appen Road just before 4.30 this morning. Investigations into what caused the deadly crash are underway. Witnesses are urged to come forward. Detectives are scouring CCTV after a Balambi man was brutally attacked during the early hours of Australia Day. 24-year-old Jackson Crinis was bashed by a gang of four men at Coromel around 4am. His sickening injuries include a dislocated shoulder, a broken nose and severe bruising to his face. A random breath test has led to the discovery of 17 knives, a rifle, a laser and drugs found in a car at Warrawal. An 18-year-old man has been charged with 10 offences, including driving unlicensed. And Dragon star Benji Marshall is keen to keep playing despite retirement rumours. The 30-year-old says the speculation over his next career move won't distract him on the field. The shocking revelations today, a toxic chemical spill at Fiskville CFA Training Centre was brushed under the carpet. It's as a former officer in charge at the now closed site told a parliamentary inquiry about an incident where a tractor ripped up drums of buried chemicals. Mark Glover said the EPA finally stepped in and ordered the clean-up of the contaminated dirt. Australia Day celebrations turned to tragedy when two young people were killed in separate crashes in a horror 24 hours on our region's roads. The latest was at Boangur about 10.30 last night when the driver of a car hit a fox and crashed into trees. Hours earlier, a teenage boy tragically lost his life in an accident at Willora. And a show of solidarity in Portland today as locals rallied against the outsourcing of maritime jobs. Mining giant Alcoa announced it had outsourced 40 jobs on MV Portland 66 days ago. Workers and union officials say the fight's far from over. Evening. A man is recovering in hospital with skull injuries after police tasered him during an arrest at Strathdale on Monday night. Neighbours say they were left shocked after the man fell and struck the concrete. It was devastating. Like he, he couldn't move. He was bleeding. He was, yeah, it was in a really ungood, like really not good shape at all. Police say the 36-year-old from Long Gully was wanted over firearms and drug offences. Police were shocked to find one in five drivers tested positive for drugs during a weekend blitz. Operation Amity pulled over 20 drivers and tested them with four returning positive results for methamphetamines. And councillors in Loddenshire have voted to reject a controversial music festival's application to hold their next event at Fernihurst. It's after police arrested more than 30 people for drug offences at last year's Yamaya Festival held near Heathcote. Back with more for you next hour. See you then. Natalie Forrest with you. Chilling pictures tonight of a police reenactment of a man seen roadside at Womboy and now linked to the murder of Canberra local Andrew Carvel. Officers are pleading for help to find a man of similar build and dress who walked along both Norton and Sutton roads on November 4th or 5th. They believe the man could have been involved in the 52-year-old's death but haven't ruled out two others, including a housemate of Mr Carvel's and an associate. We're always confident uh, in the lines of inquiry that we undertake in these types of investigations. Um, and I certainly feel that, as I said before, the investigation is progressing. Hundreds of savvy drivers queued up for two hours today as the Fishwick service station dropped fuel prices to just two cents a litre. The one-off stunt was to promote a new phone app offering discounts and plunge local traffic into chaos at lunchtime. And a wild brawl between five Golden Jail inmates had to be broken up by gunfire and tear gas yesterday. More for you soon. Natalie Forrest with you. A breakthrough for police today after they arrested a 40-year-old man over a violent home invasion at Delburn that left an elderly couple viciously bashed last year. The Churchill man is expected to be charged. Concerns over a growing gambling crisis in Gippsland. New figures show La Trobe punters lost $22 million in the last six months. La Trobe Community Health Centre says they're seeing a quarter more people seeking help. Local police are furious the drink driving message just isn't getting through. A 45-year-old man blew almost four times the limit after he hit a parked car in sale last night. If you've been smelling smoke in the air today, don't panic. Southerly winds have caused the smoke from fires burning across Tasmania to blow over our region. And young Taralgon swimmer Emily Beecroft has returned home with a gold medal and a silver after competing in the Victorian Open Championships. Back with more headlines for you next hour.
Hey, Natalie Forrest with you. More than 150 jobs will be axed to JBS Australia's Scone Abattoir next month. It's as the company scales back operations at the plant from double to single shifts. Union spokesman Graham Courtney says the majority of jobs impacted will be labour hire employees and temporary residents on a visa. The Central Coast's first ever shark forum will go ahead next month as experts gauge public opinion on new methods to protect swimmers. It follows last year's National Shark Summit after a record number of deaths along the New South Wales coast. A hero's welcome for singleton rider Tybee Price, who today returned home a champion after becoming Australia's first Dakar rally winner 10 days ago. Price arrived on Aussie shores earlier today after the 13-day gruelling race in Argentina. And Dolly Roo turned Jets recruit Stephen Yugogovic, trained with the boys for the first time today in a desperate bid to help them into the A-Legs top six.